Pilihlah ketuamu untuk bersatu mencipta sejarah Selamat datang. Bonjour. Good day and bienvenue. Welcome to the International and Domestic Virtual Colloquium for our Comat 2023, organized by the Institute of Teacher Education International Languages Campus, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm Muhammad Azhar bin Abdul Wahab, the moderator for today's colloquium series. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for joining us on our live YouTube channel and EduWeb TV for Comat 2023. The theme for to this year's colloquium is optimizing future-proof education. The goal of this colloquium is to provide the space for educators all over the world to discuss, share, and exchange views with fellow educators on topics related to education and how it is transforming globally. Indeed, through this colloquium, there is plenty to learn and expand our knowledge. Coma 2023 brings to you 18 series in the form of individual webinars with speakers from Malaysia and other countries. This is the seventh series of our virtual colloquium, and I hope you will stay tuned till the end of this session. But before we start, let me lay out a few housekeeping matters. First, everyone who attends this webinar series will be given an e-certificate after each session. Therefore, do not forget to register your name. Make sure it is typed correctly and your email address is accurate too. 
For viewers attached to the Ministry of Education Malaysia, our attendance will be recorded in SPL KPM. The registration link will be shared to the viewers about 30 minutes in the webinar. Second, we would love to hear from you during today's presentation. If you have any questions for our speaker, please feel free to send it through the chat box. The speaker will be answering questions at the end of the session. If we don't answer your questions during today's webinar, we will be sure to follow up afterwards. And finally, we'd like to encourage you to share today's webinar with others through our your social networks. Now, allow me to introduce our speaker for today, Miss Mrs. Diana Nora Diana Binti Jasmine. Uh, Mrs. Nora Diana Binti Jasmine is currently teaching French as a foreign language. Professor uh, du Fleu, Français Long Étranger, in SMK Kampong Selamat Tasik Glugo Pulau Pinang. She received her bachelor degree, licence en sciences de langage, de l'information et de la communication, from Université de Franche Comté in 2013. She started teaching French in 2015 at Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Agama Kerian Tafis, 2018 in SMK Convent Father Bar, and in 2021, now she is in Sekolah SMK Kampung Selamat. Besides teaching French, Mrs. Diana is also an examinator and corrector for the French National Exam, Delft. She is a passionate and dynamic teacher. Masuri, a folklore in French. Masuri comme de Malaisie bilang français Malay. This is the topic for today's webinar. <clears throat> folklore is shared by a particular group of people. It encompasses the traditions common to that culture, subculture, or group. This includes tales, myth, legends, proverbs, poems, jokes, and other oral traditions. Therefore, by translating a local folklore into another language and spreading it out to the masses, one's culture can optimize future projects. This is why this project was carried out. So, we are very excited to hear more about this topic. Without further delay, please welcome Mrs. Diana. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bonjour à tous. Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude for the invitation to be one of the speaker in IPG KBA Virtual Colloquium 2023. Felicitations, bravo, uh, IPG KBA for the organization of this event. And thank you as well to everyone joining us this morning. Merci beaucoup. I am honored to be here today to share my experience on a book publishing event with my students in collaboration with the Embassy of France and a French publisher last year, as presented by the moderator just now. Merci, Monsieur Azhar. I am Nurul Diana Binti Jasmine, a secondary school teacher in SMK Kampung Selamat, Tasik Gelugur, Penang, and I teach French as a foreign language. For your information, French is taught at selected public secondary schools in Malaysia. Now, let us start by a brief reading session of the storybook. Allow me to present the characters in French language. Masuri, un conte de Malaisie, bilang français Malais. 
Découvrez la légende de Massouri qui prend sa source sur l'île de Langkawi, au Kedah, en Malaisie. Voici le personnage du conte de Massouri. Ça, c'est Massouri, le protagoniste de l'histoire. Ensuite, c'est Panda Maya, son père. Et ça, c'est Enda Ala, la mère de Massouri. Voici Wandarus, l'époux de Massouri. Ensuite, c'est De Raman, l'ami proche de Massouri. Et enfin, Wan Mahora, c'est la femme de la chef du village. Maintenant, je vais réciter quelques passages de l'histoire. Il était une fois, sur l'île de Langkawi, un couple qui n'arrivait pas à avoir d'enfants. Un jour, tandis qu'il se reposait de son travail dans les champs, Panda Maya, le mari, découvrit une croûte formée par du riz séché qui rassemblait à un bébé. Il la mélangea avec du riz cuit. Sa femme, Enda Ala, avala le mélange et tomba enceinte comme par magie. Ils appelèrent leur petite fille Massouri. Au moment de sa naissance, toutes les rizières prirent une couleur dorée et étincelante. Attaché à Nanar, Massouri fut poignardé à plusieurs reprises à l'aide d'une lance, mais elle ne fut pas blessée. Massouri avait en effet un pouvoir magique hérité de sa pratique de silat. Très surprise, le public venu assister à l'exécution était survolté. La plus étonnée était Wan Mahora. Avant de mourir, Masuri, a, a, Masuri avait déclaré « Oh mon Dieu, je suis prête à mourir si je suis coupable. » Mais si je suis persécuté injustement, alors mon sang coulera sur terre et je le jure, la terre de l'Ankawi sera maudite pendant les sept prochaines générations. So that's the recitation, a brief recitation of the storybook of Masuri in French. In today's presentation, I will start by explaining about the project's abstract. And then I will elaborate on the writing process from project selection until the book launching event. Next, I will share about the project timeline from the project selection until the book publishing. And then I will share some photos during the book launching event. And finally, we will discuss about the challenges and the perks of such a project in a school retrospective. Let us begin with the first part. First, let me explain about the background of this project. Masuri, a traditional Malaysian tale written in bilingual French and Malay is an illustrated storybook. Project Masuri is the result of collaboration between different education sectors. Okay, the first one is uh, the French uh, publisher, which is Edition du Jasma. This publishing house is based in Paris and the publisher is responsible to publish and to print the book. The second one is the education department of the Embassy of France in Malaysia, widely known as Jom Francais. And the third one is a French uh, publisher. I'm uh, sorry. The third one is a, a public secondary school in Malaysia, which is SMK Kampung Selamat, Penang. Okay, I am the teacher in uh, SMK Kampung Selamat, and we were working with 12 uh, students of Form 3 students to write this traditional tale. This project involves 12 uh, Form 3 students who spent eight months writing and translating 
the folklore of uh, Lagenda Masuri in bilingual, in French and in Malay. The students uh, actually learn French from Form 1 until Form 3. And um, they, in a short period of time, they are able to write this storybook. And the next collaborator is Miss Sandra Koo. Miss Sandra Koo is a Malaysian artist who currently lives in France and work in a studio in France. She is a Malaysian uh, artist who's responsible for creating and designing all the beautiful drawing and illustration in the storybook. Okay, Miss Sandra Koo paid a special focus on classical and traditional elements of the Malaysian culture while designing uh, the costumes and the characters in this book. Hi, uh, uh, Diana. Diana. Uh, pourquoi, juste une question, uh, pourquoi vous avez uh, choisi uh, uh, la légende de Masuri comme, uh, comme pour ce projet-là? Why have you chosen uh, Masuri uh, as your, uh, you know, uh, folklore uh, project? Why? Okay, as my school is actually situated at the border of Kedah, Okay, as MK Kampus Lamat is situated in Tasik Gelugo and it's very near to uh, Padang Serai, the border of Kedah and Penang. Uh, most of the students are familiar with Langkawi. They have been to Langkawi. They have visited Langkawi with their families. And so they have learned and they have read about uh, Masuri before. That's why the this folklore is chosen uh, among all others uh, to be uh, the highlight of our project. Oui, bravo. Euh, je pense que c'est un bon choix. Parce que moi aussi, je, suis, je viens de Keda aussi. J'adore euh, Langkawi. <rire> oui, très belle île. Oui, continuez. OK, next. I would like to show you the logo of uh, the education department of the French uh, embassy, which is Jom Francais. Okay, this is the logo of the Jom Francais in social media. You can uh, find them in Instagram, in their Instagram account. Okay, uh, the French, uh, the education department is responsible to promote and to highlight all the French related activities, French language related activities in Malaysia. So please do follow Jom Francais. And I would also like to present the, a few people behind the book of Masuri. As you can see, there's Miss Sandra Koo, the Malaysian illustrator. Miss Sandra Koo uh, has made a really good job on designing and drawing all the characters. As you can see in this storybook, the, the drawing of Masuri and the other correct, uh, characters have a very special focus on cultural elements such as the batik motif uh, and the attire, the kebaya, there's kind pelikat and the background uh, of the illustrations are also amazing with paddy fields and some very natural uh, traditional Malay houses. Okay, so such a great and brilliant job by Miss Sandra Ko. Next one is the students of SMK Kampung Selamat, 12 of the students of Form 3. And then the next uh, collaborator, Monsieur Sa'ad Buri, who is the chief editor of Edition du Jasma, and me, Diana Jasmine, as the French teacher who will facilitate the students in their writing process. Okay, moving on uh, to the next part. I will elaborate about the writing process as this is the most labor laborious part of uh, the book publishing. Okay. Um, actually, this whole writing process took around eight weeks to be completed. I started by introducing the project to my students and the students who are interested in this project enrolled themselves, joined uh, me in this project. We started first by reading the tale of Masuri in Malay language. Okay, after their reading session in Malay, just to refresh their memory about the storyline, the students pick out 15 keywords from the story in Malay. Okay, they choose uh, 15 most important keywords from the story 
and then they tried to translate. We discussed about the meanings and we tried to translate those keywords into French language. For this translating part, we use an online uh, French dictionary. Actually, the whole writing process took place uh, with an online platform. We were fully using Google Classroom and uh, we were fully utilizing the Google Docs to communicate and to send our uh, written part to each other. And the, uh, the, translation, the translation of keywords is actually quite tricky because when you translate from Malay, it doesn't always mean the same in French. So that's where I will come in and try to help the students to choose which is the most appropriate meaning. Okay. Next, the students read this, uh, another storybook, but in French language. Okay. I chose Le Petit Chaperon Rouge, which means the Little Red Riding Hood. The, the students, after they read the Little Red Riding Hood, they select keywords from the story, important keywords again, and then we discuss and the students analyze the narrative and the storyline of both folklore. They will come, uh, they have come to a conclusion about the similarities and the differences between La Genda Masuri and Le Petit Chaperon Rouge, the Little Red Riding Hood. I will show you next our some snapshot of our Google Classroom. This is the discussion of the students using Jamboard in Google Classroom. As you can see, those are the keywords that the student uh, tried to discuss together. Okay, there's uh, some verbs, uh, some nouns, and they, uh, after the session of keyword selection, they tried to translate those keywords into French. The next one is the, the theory part. I also, teach uh, the student, there, were, there was a lesson about qu'est-ce qu'un what is a folk tale. So they learned what's the meaning of tale. And then we, we also learned about uh, the, the parts that that's always have been in contes, in fairy tales. They are always the same parts. And I introduced my student to a figure, a very important figure, in uh, folklore and fairy tales, which is Vladimir Prop. Vladimir Prop, in the next slide, you can see his uh, photo. Vladimir Prop uh, create the morphology du conte or the narrative scheme of fairy tales, okay? So in fairy tales, there are always seven characters, the hero, okay, the helper, and then there are five situation five plot line that that's involved in each tale so after the student learned about this narrative uh, structure they discuss about the masuri storyline and the props narrative scheme so they have come to the conclusion that masuri storyline is aligned to props theory and they were very surprised about their finding they now understand that their language, a story, a tale in their language in Malay, have also the same structure as uh, what's in European tales, such as uh, the Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, and other story tales. Next, uh, the students try to write the parts of storyline in pair. I have divided them into groups according to props uh, narrative structure. Uh, the first one is la situation initiale, the first situation. And the second one is l'élément perturbateur. The third one is les péripéties. The, th uh, the fourth is l'élément de résolution. And the last one is la situation finale. So they were divided into this group and they try to write their parts. After they have finished their parts, they, have, uh, they wrote using Google Docs, they submitted their work and as a teacher, I check their, their work and correct uh, some minor errors with them before we submitted our first draft to the education department. Um, 
And then uh, in between the first and the second draft for correction and review, we, we begin the translation of the story in Malay language. And I think by far this is the most difficult or challenging part during the writing process because translating from French to Malay, back to Malay, have altered so much of the context and the meaning of Masuri. Okay, when we tried to uh, translate motamo, which means word to word from French to Malay, we have lost some uh, lingo, some gaya bahasa of the beautiful Malay language uh, structure in fairy tale, as you know. Because uh, Malay language is more subtle and more gentle uh, in fairy tales and in folklores. But they have uh, successfully done their part in translating the Malay the Malay version of Masuri. So we submitted the story to be reviewed by the editor at last. Oui, uh, <coughs> uh, Diana, je crois que c'était vraiment difficile, n'est-ce pas, uh, pour faire ce type de projet avec uh, les petits. Alors, uh, c'était comment? Uh, oui, c'est un peu difficile. Uh, premièrement, it was uh, quite difficult uh, at the beginning, but what I was trying to do is to guide and to facilitate them to come to their own understanding and to make them uh, voice out their opinion, to, uh, to make them voice out what do they want to write, what do they want to include in the story. Actually, I think uh, I would like to give them as much uh, responsibility and um, creativity to be involved in their work. Oui, tu as bien, as bien <coughs> raison. You, have, you are right. Uh, et tu as bien fait. Continuez, s'il vous plaît. Okay, uh, next slide. Next. Okay, I would like to show you our Google Doc of Project Masuri. This is what the students have done. As you can see, there are names of the student for each uh, narrative structure according to props uh, theory. So the, uh, each group produced their writing, submitted it to me, and then I will check their group work uh, little by little, petit à petit, pour, uh, to make sure it's uh, correct. But they have made so much uh, progress by writing this, and they have learned. Uh, they have learned uh, a lot, not only in linguistic theory, uh, not only in linguistic how to write sentences, but also uh, this type of activity using Google Classroom have managed to develop their digital competencies. They have learned how to use Google Classroom more effectively. They have learned how to comment, how to discuss. And I think that's one of the most important part of this project also. Donc, ça veut dire vous avez um, ajouté une autre tâche, n'est-ce pas? C'est de faire uh, de l'utilisation de l'ordinateur, des, des uh, you know, tout ça. Et tu as mélangé les deux, n'est-ce pas? Oui. Uh, on a, je ne sais pas qu'on a ajouté une tâche, mais ils, ils apprennent à travailler avec les médias, avec la technologie, comment on utilise euh, le dictionnaire en ligne, how to use dictionary online, how to select the right word, uh, how to put uh, their thoughts, their comments into sections. D'accord. Très bien, très bien. Continuez. Okay, ensuite. This is, uh, this, was, this is what I'm talking about for the narrative structure. The students were divided into this structure according to Prop's theory. The first one is the setting and characters, which is la situation initiale. And then when the problem came in every, every fairy tale, uh, they follow this narrative structure. There will be a problem, which is l'élément perturbateur. And then there's rising action, les péripéties. Ensuite, it's climax, l'élément de résolution, and then 
they start the falling action and then no more, which is la situation finale. So this, uh, like I said just now, the students, they were actually surprised that Masuri follows the same structure as uh, taught by a European, um, a European uh, theory. So they were happy and they were more confident. They have a more self-esteem about their own mother tongue. Okay, next, I will share to you uh, our project timeline. This project actually took around eight months to be completed and it was finished successfully within one year term of a school, ses school session. And we were very glad and were very happy to be able to finish within that time frame. Uh, the first, uh, the first one is uh, the project was selected by the French Education Department and the Embassy of France. Okay, the project was actually offered to all secondary school uh, in Malaysia where French is taught, and then we as teachers submitted our proposal and our title, and uh, SMK Kampus Selamat was chosen to to do this project. Okay, and then we had a project briefing and storyline. A storyboard discussion. This uh, discussion, this meeting uh, took place around April, uh, March to April 2022. There were four of us, me, and then there were there was uh, Miss Oriane Descrivon, the personnel of the education department of French Embassy. There was the illustrator and the French uh, publisher, Monsieur Saad Bouri. And then the students enroll uh, and join and join this project. I had them uh, to attend a brief uh, meeting, and then we started the writing process almost immediately in May. We were rushing actually. We were running out of time because I was only in school last year, mid May 2022. I was invigilating for the SPM examination for the second session, so our time was short uh, cut because of that so the students have made a very good job they were very motivated and they have uh, been giving a very good commitment for this project the illustration were done in parallel to the writing process to cut down on the time the preliminary draft the first draft was sent and it was reviewed within five working weeks the second draft came back to us around august to be done and then we had it to be corrected and it was sent back to the editor to be double checked. And then they uh, have a travail de relecture et traduction en Malay. When the first draft in French came back as an OK, we started the translate translation of Malay part immediately. Next, there's uh, after the Malay part of Masuri is finished, we submitted it to the editor and uh, the editor proceed with the mise en page the organization of the pages, relecture final, the last reading, and lancement des impressions, which means printing around September to October 2022. The leaf, uh, the book, sorry, the book, uh, Masuri, the storybook was uh, imported from France to Malaysia uh, in mid November. And we had two book launching events, which was the highlight of our project in late November 2022. So it took around eight months to finish. And we were very happy and very glad because we have to finish it uh, by the year 2022. As the students were from three students, then and there was there going to be a probability that they will move or they will transfer to another school when they're in form four. So we're very happy and glad that it's finished within the one school year term. Uh, alors, Mada, uh, Diana, je voudrais savoir, I would like to know, uh, parce que vous avez dit que vous, il y avait un, une discussion entre tous ces parties-là, vous, l'illustrateur, uh, le, uh, le, les gens qui publiaient uh, le livre. Alors, pendant cette during uh, pendant cette uh, discussion during that uh, discussion quel long uh, avez vous avez utilisé what language did you guys use was it est-ce que c'était la langue française ou est-ce que 
vous avez mélangé was it in french or you have uh, mixed uh, languages merci pour cette question thank you for the question uh, en effet on a utilisé une mélange de ces deux langues parce que uh, madame sandra elle est une malaisienne et elle est uh, elle est elle est allée uh, en france uh, juste récemment alors elle, elle n'est pas très uh, courant en français donc on a mélangé anglais et français we have discussed in both languages actually during the meeting uh, in french and in english as uh, sandra miss sandra Ku, uh, just moved to france recently and uh, so the editor wish for us to speak a little bit in english so that everyone understand each other uh, perfectly voilà Ensuite, uh, I would like to show you how the book looks like. Okay, this is the original form of the book now, the printed version. As you can see, there's the front cover. Uh, Masuri Conde de Malaisie, Bilang Francais Malay, which means Masuri, Tale of Malaysia, in bilingual French and Malay. You can see here in this. Uh, snapshot of the book, Miss Sandra Ku have made a really good uh, drawing of the Malay culture elements such as the scarf, okay, the selendang and the attire, the kebaya, there's batik motif, okay, and then she pictured Langkawi very well with the ocean and the paddy field, the rizier and the Malay traditional houses. So, this is actually very important as the book is projected to be marketed in France and hopefully soon in Malaysia. The so the classical and the cultural elements are hi the highlight of this book to capture the attention of a potential French reader. And the market for this book is actually for les enfants ou les petits for the kids, okay, for the children in France. Oui, uh, That's I think... why we have uh, such a couleur vivant, such a vibrant colors uh, for the printing. Oui, je crois que vous avez raison. You can see here, <coughs> okay, uh, all the colors. Il y a, you know, il y a le, le soleil, il y a les, uh, les champs, uh, la mer. Uh, et ça se voit vraiment uh, exotique. Et je crois oui. les Français aiment ça, je crois. So I think the French, they love this type of uh, drawings you know uh, showing exotic things yes uh, french are very interested actually in our culture as we have a very colorful and vibrant culture to be shared you know <laughs> okay on sweet so this uh, was the highlight of our program. It was a book launches. We have two book launching event in Penang and in Kuala Lumpur on November 2022. Uh, actually, this uh, book launching event was also quite uh, something that we waited for, especially for the students because they get the chance to uh, go to Alliance Princess Penang and Alliance Frances Kuala Lumpur. Alliance Frances, for your information, Alliance Frances is the French institution uh, which provide French lesson, French language lesson, and French uh, cultural activities in Malaysia. So the students were very lucky to be able to go to these uh, two places uh, last year, and they were very excited. I would like now to share some uh, photos of our book launching event. This is, uh, these are the photos of the book launching in Penang, in Alliance Frances Penang. As you can see, we have received an overwhelming support from uh, various uh, personnel and uh, uh, people from the education sector, such as uh, the JPN of Penang, of Languages Department. And then there's uh, Miss Anaïs Deschamps, the head of uh, education department of the French Embassy. 
there's um, the publisher who flew from Paris to Penang, especially for this event. And there's also my school principal, Monsieur Muhammad Zakaria, who supported the students during the launching of this book. And this support was primordial and very important for the students. They were also their parents who came and uh, watched uh, how uh, their, their, their kids uh, wrote this book. Okay. Now, uh, what's so special about the book launching event is the students get to experience for a day what it's like to be an author. The French uh, embassy have made a special uh, uh, ambiance, uh, a special uh, place for them to sign off, uh, to put their signature on each copy of the book. So they experience what it feels like to be an author, to sign, to give their autograph. So you can see they were very happy and they were smiling from ear to ear. They were very proud of their work. Oui, les, les adultes. Oui, they were, they were the star of the event. C'est ça, c'est ça, ils ont les étoiles. Et on peut voir sur le, sur, à leur visage, leur souris, tout ça, vraiment, vraiment génial. Uh, J'aime bien cette photo-là. Ensuite, next. Now, this is the event in Alliance Française Kuala Lumpur. Again, we have received tremendous support from the French Embassy. Uh, the students actually presented this book during the Monday talk program. And they have been doing such a good job presenting the book uh, during the talk to French adults uh, who were there. And I was actually very proud uh, of them because we have to bear in mind that these are from three students. They are 15 years old okay, at that time. They were 15 years old at that time and they were capable of presenting something, their, their, their work, their achievement in front of an audience. So I'm very proud of them. And I'm very happy that they get the chance to experience uh, such exposure in French. Voila. Uh, je viens de, je voudrais uh, demander quelque chose, uh, mais vous avez déjà dit, uh, I, I just want to ask you something, but you have said it, uh, they, they spoke in French. Uh, Est-ce qu'ils ont parlé tous en français ou encore ils ont mélangé un petit peu? They tried to speak as much French as they know, but of course they, they mix it with English and in Malay during uh, the presentation. But uh, the most important thing for me is for them to be able to just stand up on that stage and to, to be courageous enough to speak in front of an audience in a language that is a foreign language to them. And that's uh, the most important thing. As a French teacher, you know, it's very difficult for us and the fellow French teachers will understand. It's very difficult for, for uh, for teachers teaching in a foreign language to make the students speak, to, to make them speak up, to have that self-esteem, to be confident. So the fact that these students are capable of doing that means that means the world to me as a uh, their teacher. Yeah. So uh, bravo, bravo, uh, Amezelef. Thank you so much to my students for being uh, such a good and motivated student. Oui, bravo, bravo. Uh, C'est vraiment difficile, je sais, de parler devant les autres. Et en plus, and also they are, you know, they are not from the urban, uh, you know, uh, cities. They're from, you know, Kampung, Salama. It's not, it's not a, a city. So that's another barrier that they have, uh, you know, uh, encountered and they have uh, finally done a good job. Bravo, bravo. Yes, correct. Actually, this group of students, most of them are from the B40 groups and they're from a social, economic and a demographic that's not uh, near to the big city. Kampung Selamat Pasir Lugor is not uh, in Georgetown, it's not uh, in central Penang, but uh, they are very good. Their com communicative skill is at par with uh, any other student out there. So, felicitations to them. 
Okay, to summarize this project, okay, I would like to share some of the benefits of doing uh, such a project in school and what challenges uh, do we face uh, during our book publishing event. Okay, first of all, the students actually discover the joy of reading a literature piece in French, okay, in a foreign language. They discover that it's such a joy, joyful thing to read and to read in French a, a piece of literature, a tale, a, fa a fairy tale, a folklore. So they discover the universe of folklore and fairy tale in French and then in their own language in Malay. They come to an understanding that Malay language is also as beautiful as any other language in the world. So this is an intercultural approach in my lesson in school. And then uh, the second benefit is the students got a chance to meet other francophones. Okay, it is very difficult for um, the students of French language in uh, some places like mine to meet other French speaking person. The fact that uh, they participated in this uh, project made it possible for them to meet many French person during the book launching event. And then they got to uh, speak about uh, themselves in French. So that was a good uh, exposure. And then the highlight for the students are the school trips to Alliance Frances, Kuala Lumpur and Penang, where they discovered how the French uh, language is taught in the institution and how the cultural activities are uh, being done by Alliance Frances. There are few challenges, however, despite the benefits that we have uh, acquired. The first one is we were running against the time. Okay, uh, As you know, last year, the schooling session was very brief. We had many school holidays and the students themselves, they have such a hectic uh, schedule. They have their timetable is quite hectic. They come to school from 7 a.m. 7.20, they start the lesson until almost 2 p.m. in the evening. And French is taught as uh, an elective subject, which means they get to see uh, me and they get to learn French for two hours per week. That's not much. And I cannot do this project within that lesson time. So we, we, we have to do this um, after the schooling session, after the schooling hours. So these students had to stay back in the evening to complete their written part. Okay, despite, despite their tiredness from the long schooling session, they were very motivate, uh, motivated and committed. Hence, we were able to successfully publish this book, Alhamdulillah. Okay, the second challenge is uh, the paperwork and the formalities. Okay, as you know, this project was offered by the French uh, embassy. So it, it doesn't come from the KPM, the Ministry of Education. We have to ask for approval to join this project and that approval took time. There were very much paperwork involved to uh, get approval to join this project at first. And then we have to get another approval to go to book launches in Penang and in KL. And there were also many other formalities that we have to follow. Okay, but despite these challenges, I would say that this project, if there's any other teacher out there who's interested in doing such a project in school, it's very fruitful and it's very worthwhile to challenge yourself and your students into such a project. Donc, uh, est-ce que vous, si vous avez l'opportunité ou la possibilité, est-ce que vous allez faire encore ce type de projet, vous? Uh, if you have the, another, you know, chance, uh, would you do this uh, project again, maybe with another uh, folklore, maybe? I was thinking, actually, j'ai pensé à une recueil de contes, which means a, a collection, a collection of fairy tales, short, Okay, but that's quite ambitious, but we'll see, inshallah, one day. I think uh, my, uh, students in Malaysia are capable of doing such a project. And it's the first, actually, this book, Masuri, is the first uh, book in French and in Malay. Okay, a first fairy tale uh, storybook in French and in Malay. So I hope other uh, teachers will also pick up the challenge and join 
us in publishing more fairy tales of Malay in French? Alors, um, Diana, so Diana, um, uh, nous avons, nous sommes maintenant à la fin de notre, uh, comment dire, de notre uh, série ou de, de notre uh, oui série. Alors, um, so before we end, est-ce que, qu est-ce que, est-ce que vous voulez dire quelque chose uh, avant de, avant que on termine, uh, before we uh, end this session? Alizy? Okay, I would like to thank everybody who was involved and supported this project from the beginning until the end. First of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, the Education Department of the French Embassy for being so um, dynamic uh, in promoting French language and have been supporting uh, French teachers all along the way. And I would also like to thank IPG KBA for forming us, the French teachers. I would like uh, to extend our gratitude to our lecturers in the languages, international languages department of IPG KBA. Thank you so much. What we are now is uh, what we get from you when we were in our formation years. So thank you for being so passionate and for being so persevering in teaching us. Thank you to uh, the Education Department of the States, uh, Pulau Pinang, Negeri Pulau Pinang, JPN. Thank you to my principal, the school administrator, Monsieur Muhammad Zakaria and uh, Madam Hajar Roslina, my former principal for supporting the students. Thank you uh, to the parents, families for understanding our job scope. And last but not least, the biggest thank is for my students who were very committed in learning French as a foreign language and who were uh, very brilliant in what uh, they're learning and they're doing. So thank you so much to my students who participated in this project. So uh, thanks a lot, uh, Diana. Merci beaucoup. Uh, Merci à vous. Oui, c'était quelque chose incroyable, les choses que vous avez fait avec vos élèves. It was a, it's a great thing that you have done with your students. <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, I think this project really it has uh, you know optimized uh, uh, our future uh, proof education. So so thanks a lot. So uh, I just I would like to say just uh, au revoir et uh, à plus à bientôt. D'accord? Au revoir, merci monsieur, merci à tous. Ciao ciao. Ciao. Thank you, uh, Ms. Diana, for sharing, Ms. Diana, for sharing your experience and thoughts today. I'm sure we have learned a lot, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, actually, that concludes the webinar session uh, for today. Thank you all uh, for watching. <clears throat> we hope you have learned and enjoyed uh, this session. Uh, I'd like uh, to once again thank uh, our speaker, and not to forget our technical team here at the Institute of Teacher Education uh, International uh, Languages Campus, IPG KBA, uh, Mr. Satya, Mr. Daini, Mr. Fazi, and also uh, Mr. Hafiza. And also, I would like to thank uh, the team from Educational Technology and Resources uh, Division, BSDP, Ministry of Education Malaysia, KPM. The producer, Dr. Su uh, Suraj Kanagasabai, studio director, Mr. Muhammad Azian Muhammad Sufyan, webmaster, Mr. Muhammad Farid Muhammad Fuad Ui, streamer, Ms. Nurul Ain Azman, and our viewers. Merci, merci, merci beaucoup. So, uh, please uh, do not forget. Our next webinar series will be held later today at 2.30 p.m. Malaysian time. This is going to be the 8 from the 18 series. So we will have uh, Dr. Ang Chui Kian, Master Lecturer Deep from the Department of International Languages Institute of Teacher Education International Languages Campus with her webinar entitled Future Proofing Teaching in Teacher Education, Three Tips to Future Proof Student Teacher. Till then, 
jumpa lagi. See you again. Au revoir. A bientôt. Uh, from Malaysia. So, au revoir.